Here's our latest experiment in combustion. We're taking what's called a rocket stove, which is a downdraft and side draft burner. You put sticks in this pipe, air comes in that pipe. The combustion happens at the very bottom at the tips of the fuel, which you can see right here, burning away. The uh, hot combustion gases go in here, secondary combustion ensues, and it comes up through the smokestack right there. And after you get warmed up, that smoke should clear up quite a bit. The purpose of this experiment is we have put on a forced draft fan we're actually using the fan to pump air through an eductor. So we are educting the exhaust gases through there by blowing air through a nozzle. This is gonna give us a sense of control over the rocket stove. We're hoping to be able to exert more control over the stove than we have otherwise with its own natural draft. We're eventually gonna be controlling this with a PLC. The PLC is gonna be sending a four to 20 milliamp signal to a vari variable frequency drive right there, driving a three phase fan motor that's blowing the air to the stack. Right now we're just controlling the fan in manual, so we can bump the current up from 8 milliamps here to 12. That's blowing more air through the stove. You can hear the bearings protest of my cheap eBay fan. And now we're burning much more vigorously down there. So we're going to use the fan speed to force or to educt draft in the rocket stove and thereby control the draft. So we're going to see how, this, how well this works. Uh, a, a force controlled or a automatically controlled draft on a rocket stove. And eventually, like I said, this is going to be a closed loop control. We'll use the PLC to determine how fast the fan speed will go. Presently, we're just measuring the temperature manually. Right now, we're at 700 degrees inside the bucket. We've been burning for about five minutes or so, and we'll see how far it warms up. <laughs>